In this video, we're featuring the Revo 1100 by Unetics Vascular. Like its larger siblings, the Multilab LHSTI and the Multilab 2CP, the Revo is running touchscreen technology and windows inside the console. The Revo 1100 is shown on its optional cart, which gives you place to store your cuffs and accessories out of harm's way. The Revo also features an adjustable cart, depending on user height, can be raised or lowered. The unit also has an option for an uninterrupted power supply if you're going to be moving it from room to room. You can move it without having to shut windows down and wait for it to boot back up. The Revo is designed to perform the limited vascular examination, which is otherwise known as a 93922 in the United States. This is the ankle brachial index study with waveforms at the ankle level. This can be obtained using the Doppler probe. You can do pressures at the ankles, at the dorsalis pedis, posterior tibial, or you can use the supplied PPG sensors for simultaneous AVI, using the PPG clips for simultaneous brachial pressures and simultaneous ankle pressures. In fact, we have a quick study on here that can perform a complete ankle brachial index with ankle waveforms in less than five minutes. In this video, we're going to demonstrate the Revo 1100 by Unetics and the five-minute ABI study. Our technologist is going to select the study from the menu, and then she's going to enter the patient name, the patient ID, the patient date of birth, the text name, the referring physician, and now she's ready to begin. She's going to start by putting the cuffs on the arms and the ankles. Now she's attaching the hoses to the cuffs. The Revo 1100 has four separate pneumo hoses, one for each arm cuff and one for each ankle cuffs, so you do not need to move hoses in the middle of an examination. She's now going to take the PPG sensors and place them on the patient's fingertips using the first or the middle finger. On the screen, you can see the waveforms. When the pressure in the arm cuffs exceeds the patient's systolic pressure, you'll see a flat line. She's then going to press the deflate button and wait for the return of the pulses. She's waiting until the pulses return on both sides, and then she's going to scroll them back to the right side blue bar on each box. She's then going to press proceed. She's now going to press inflate to inflate the ankle hoses for the pulse volume recording waveform at the ankle level. With one touch, the Revo will inflate both cuffs to 65 millimeters of mercury pressure. We now see the waveforms are consistent, so we're going to press capture. We're then going to press proceed, and then move the PPG clips from the fingers to the great toe on the left and right foot. Again, we can see the waveforms coming across the screen, so she's going to press the inflate button and this will automatically inflate the cuffs at the ankle. Now that we see a flat line, she's going to press the deflate button and wait for the return of pulses. There we are. We're going to scroll them back to the blue bar at the right of each screen. And our study is finished. 
video, we're going to discuss the Revo screens and operation of your Revo. When you turn your Revo instrument on, you will come up to this screen here. This is called the Revo start screen. From here, we have the shutdown button and we have the start button. We are going to start. And the first screen that you see here is what we call the Revo main screen. We have a button for options a button for temporary files, and a button for studies, very much like our multi-lab LHS and 2CP instruments. Let's start out by talking about the options that you can configure for your Revo system. When you press options, you have an option to turn dual ankle pressures on or off. Dual ankle pressures on will allow you to take both ankle pressures simultaneously with the PPG sensors instead of a Doppler. Toe pressures, and again, to toggle these, simply touch the name itself of the option, and it will toggle on and off. Toe pressures, if this is in the on position, it will not prompt you to obtain toe pressures in the examination. By pressing this into the on position, toe pressures will be part of your study. Same with toe waveforms. Toe waveforms are currently in the off position. I'm going to turn them on now. The Revo system has two ABI charts. Chart 1 is going to tell you that a normal ABI is 0.97 to 1.3. The second ABI chart is going to put normal at 0.90 or above. You also have the option of turning the ABI chart off. The ABI chart will appear on your patient report. When you receive your Revo instrument, you'll want to set the facility name. Simply press Set Facility Name and use the on-screen keyboard to insert your name. You can clear whatever's in there by pressing the Clear button. And when you have your identity correct, simply press Accept. You can adjust your Revo system's date and time by pressing the Set Date and Time button as shown and simply adjust the Windows clock as you see fit. When you have adjusted the date and time to your time zone, click OK. And then when you press the Accept button, your configuration settings will be saved to memory. The next button we see on the Revo screen is the Temp File button. The Revo can hold up to five patients in memory before needing to delete them for newer patients. When you press the Temp File button, you'll see the following screen. We see we have one patient, and we have several options here. If we press the Save button, that will save this patient study to the USB thumb drive in a PDF format. If I press the Print button, it will print this patient with a supplied color full page printer. If I wanted to delete this patient after I printed or saved it, I could press the Delete button. And if I want to edit this study, I can press the Edit button. And I can go back in if I wanted to proceed a little bit further. I could highlight right toe PPG waveform and then proceed. And I could obtain a waveform at this point. To view the page, simply use the View button and it will display the patient report in small size. If you want to zoom in on a detail, press the Zoom button and then use your up or down buttons to scroll down the page as desired. The Studies button will take you to the Revo Study menu. The first choice on the Study menu is Ankle Brachial Index with Ankle Doppler Waveforms. This will allow you to take an Ankle Brachial Index using the supplied 8 MHz Doppler probe at the arms and ankle sites. If you have the dual ankle pressure on, it will prompt you to take a pressure at the dorsalis pedis and the posterior tibial arteries. You will then be prompted to take Doppler waveforms at the dorsalis pedis and posterior tibial arteries. The second study is the ankle brachial index with ankle pulse volume recording waveforms, or PVR. This will allow you to take pressures with the Doppler probe and then supply you with ankle waveforms using the PVR modality. The third study is the quick ABI with ankle PVR studies, and that will allow you to take both arm pressures and both ankle pressures simultaneously 
using the supplied left and right PPG sensors. You will then be prompted to obtain an ankle PVR, the fourth and pressures. This will allow you to take pressures on the toes and waveforms of all the toes. Number five is the quick strip function. The quick strip function will allow you to take Doppler waveforms, PPG waveforms. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the features of the Unetics Rebo system. The Unetics Rebo was designed to perform your ankle brachial index with ankle waveform studies. In the United States, this is known as a 93922 exam, and there are many different ways that we can perform that with the Rebo system. The Rebo is utilizing the touchscreen technology as pioneered in our multi-lab LHS TI and 2CP systems. The unit is running Windows, just like its older siblings, and the unit also has a cart to put the unit on. It is also height adjustable, depending on the size of the user. We have storage space on the cart for the cuffs and accessories, a place to put your printer, and additional storage below the printer. This unit can be configured with an uninterruptible power supply, so if you're going to be moving it from room to room, you don't have to shut it down, wait for windows to stop, move it, plug it in, start back up. With the optional UBS, you can move it from room to room without shutting the system down. 